podcast about restaurants and our experiences with what a combined 50 some years in the restaurant between me and my co-host nick hi nick how's it going in, in san diego this weekend oh uh, good it was uh it actually rained and then now it's sunny again so that's kind of our weekends it's sunny all week and then you get to the weekend and it starts raining for no reason whatsoever here in carson we got a good two hours of snow yesterday morning and then the sun came out and about an hour later it was all gone at least down <laughs> in town up on the hills they still got it but this week we are talking about some of our red flags that we notice when we are eating out some of the things that say to us maybe don't come back here or at least you know be careful with what you order here perhaps and i'm going to start with the first one that i will always notice and that is the physical front door especially if it's glass and all right if it's a family oriented joint and they're always like little kid handprints yeah. on there that's one thing but if you're a regular restaurant and your front door is just schmutzy just looks gross then i might not open it i might just keep walking down the street yeah there's a there's a little place next door where i work downtown and Every time I walk by on a break, there's a kid out there washing the door and washing the windows on the front, like every day, every single day. It's starting to rain and he's still out there polishing the door and stuff. So if they just, like you said, it's, you get to that stuff and you see that right off and you're like, well, I don't know now. I mean, right in that same vein for me is when I sit down and a lot of times I'll sit at the bar just because I'm by myself and I want to take up the table. Mm -hmm. You see that touch screen and that touch screen has just got fingerprints all over it. Now, for those of you out there, the touch screen on these computers is just like the screen on your computer. If you touch it and all that, if it's behind a bar like that and there's fingerprints and stuff on it, it means whoever's working back there, A, probably isn't washing their hands nearly enough as they should, and B, doesn't have the wherewithal to actually just wipe down the screen, which takes almost two to three seconds. It is nowhere on my cleaning list at the bar but it is something I do at a minimum once a day, usually twice, once kind of right after I come in and once somewhere again later in the ship, clean up after myself. If something gets on there, take care of that immediately. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it, it drives me nuts. If there's something on there and I'm working, it's like I have to stop and wipe it off and go back to it because it's going to bother. I'll just keep looking at it. Right. Um, and that goes along with shelves behind the bar. If they're dusty, um, bottles really get me. When you're you're in a bar and like there's you can see which ones they pour. Right. Like the ones that aren't dusty are the ones they actually use. The ones next to them are dusty, they don't even touch and they literally don't even touch them. That is something that is on the cleaning list once a week yeah. is wipe down all those bottles, even the ones yeah. that don't get used. Mm -hmm. Because uh, sure, it's inconvenient to get to a couple of them, but regardless, wipe them all down. Lots of bars I worked in, we didn't have that as it would be like one part portion of one shelf per week. Mm-hmm just depending on your shift and you know it's like like okay i'm doing part i'm doing one i'm doing two i'm doing section three four five six whatever because it is kind of hard to in some places to wipe down say 150 bottles oh no doubt least, and minimum, if not more i mean there's I, there's bars out here and i'm going to say cue a picture of inside of ironside out here and you'll see that bar and be like yeah you're not wiping all those down not the, I, exactly like a uh, a couple of days ago at work, I flipped out all of the speed pours on every bottle. And I could only do that because I was physically the only person in the bar at that moment. Yeah. And it took, I don't know, 20 minutes altogether to pull them all off, run them through the dishwasher. We had enough clean ones that, you know, I got clean ones. Out. But still, it, it was a process and it's not a very big bar that it's still it took a while to just get through that, but it was also something that needs to get done regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my bar, we don't have a lot of speed pours. I mean, I don't, I don't allow them to put them up on the display at all. Sure. So they're just in the well, and they're just on our well alcohols, really. They're not on much anything else. And I had a guy, and he's a regular, and I stopped by him. He's like, man, my, my scotch doesn't really taste right. And he's just drinking a straight scotch on the rock, so there's no mixer involved. And I smell it, and I'm like, that doesn't smell quite. It's a little off. And then, so I, I, let me get you another one. So I just take it back. 
And I pull the pourer out and just pour it out of the bottle, put it down, he takes a sip and he's like, yep, it's your pourer. And I'm like, yeah, I go back and yeah, the pour had been used in something else like Sambuca or something It had that licorice smell to it. And I'm like, dude, Why? It's, it's the same thing too. If you're going to take a pour out of a bottle, put it back in the same bottle. Right. That makes no sense at all. You know, because they're also, they're usually, we've usually got them adjusted for different bottle sizes. Oh, you know, yes. you got the larger one or you've got the tape or whatever you use. Yep. And okay. yeah, it's like, why is this? <sighs> My bar is not as fancy as yours. So there is a speed pour on essentially everything, but there are some of the speed pours with a little cap on it. And yeah. those I put on the ones that I basically never touch. Yeah. And, you know, because it's sure that little bit more protection of them but also it doesn't get in my way if i need to be constantly you know that that's not ever going to go on the jack daniels or yeah. or the uh gray goose those are really i think or tito's yeah no it's, it's, it's the most of it's going to go on your house scotch it's going to go on you know the exactly. stuff is just never ordered and yeah in, in that same vein of that uh tasting wrong also i've been in a bars where i've ordered a specific whiskey or bourbon straight and or on the rocks usually, and then handed it to me. I'm like, this isn't what I ordered. And I watched you pour it out of the bottle that I ordered it from. Right. And that, that does that happen. And that's, that, and that's an immediate for me. I'm like, you know what? I'm here. Just keep your money. Keep the drink. Exactly. I will take my I'm, check. Thank you very much. I'm just going to walk out. I'm done here. I don't know if this was you or the manager or some asshole <laughs> bar back who doesn't know what they're doing. I don't know. In my but... it, no, it's it's been my experience where it's it's usually been like the bartender didn't even know. Sure. Yeah. I, like, like the last I one, I was like, here. Back to bartender manager or, or a yeah. liquor manager on that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I was like, here, pour a shot of your well whiskey, and she does because I recognize the taste immediately. I'd had it before. Mm -hmm. She takes a sip. She's. I'm like, okay, now take a straw taste of mine, and she she's like, oh my god, they're the same. And I'm like, yeah. What did you pour in my glass? She's like, well, bullet. I wasn't our house, and I'm like. Like I said, I'm going to go. <laughs> you have a nice night. I'm not coming back here. I'm telling you people know, not to come here. But that yeah, actually... That, that's a low thing right there. Yeah. Keeping it to, well, not necessarily the bar, but drinkware in general. Yep. A huge red flag for me is people that pick up dirty glasses like by, this. Putting, by putting their fingers inside. That is A, absolutely gross, and B, uh, the kind of person that does that is not the kind who is going to go wash their hands immediately in the back once they drop no. it off of the dish pit. No, yeah. Uh, seeing, yeah, just, and that's, that's sitting down, seeing stuff like that, seeing how people do things. I mean, the one time that I've seen it that I'm, I didn't say anything about it when my staff did it is in banquets, but they had gloves on because yeah. that it's the end of the night. We're just trying to clear dishes mm. as quickly as possible. Fine. In front of a guest, I never want to see that. Yeah, because ever. it's gross. I mean, if you're putting your finger in my glass, who else's glass are you putting them in? Well, all of them. All of them. Every and I haven't seen you go to a sink in 10 minutes. Yeah. But see, yeah, no, it's, it is pretty gross. I agree with you on that one. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a little break here. When we get back, we will talk about a couple more just red flags. I've got two that have to do with management that we will get to when we get right back. <laughs> 